YouTube, Lenny Slide, RoadWarriorTrainingTC.com. Uh, if you haven't found out, we have a brand new website, totally rebuilt, everything is new. Our online dojo is up and running. We have all the online classes on there. The great thing about the classes with the online dojo with this website is that we actually have them in category. So if you're looking for techniques on Kosa Dori, there's a whole category on that for uh, Katate Dori, for Kowski, Yoko Minuchi, Sho Minuchi. And as we add more, we'll create more categories, especially when we start doing other attacks like Moro De Dori and Yo De Dori and things like that and Shiro Waza. So check us out. Uh, RogueWarriorTC.com, check out our online classes. If you're not already a member, what are you waiting for? This is the best online classes anywhere for Aikido. Um, today's gonna be a good video. It's gonna be on Kosudori Iriminage. So sit tight, I'll be back in one second. We'll get cracking on this video. YouTube, I'm back. This technique is on Kosudori Iri Minage. Now this is um, <clears throat> this is Tenshin Aikido style Iri Minage, the way that we're gonna be doing it. I have Rod here with me today. Hi, onigashimasu. So we're gonna start off with the Kosudori technique. There's gonna be a transit, well actually it starts off with Tenkan, I apologize. It starts off with Tenkan, you end up bringing your, the hand that's not being grabbed underneath, disconnect that grab, Tenkan into Ura Iri Minage. So we're gonna walk through this so you can see how this is done. So first things first, if you have really sloppy Tenkan, you have to work with this. So your Tenkan can't start off doing this. Okay, can't be sloppy. You wanna be able to make your Tenkan move right through at that point. Then you want to come up underneath and break that grip and then enter in behind him in this space. Now what you gotta watch out for, I've seen this happen before, is that when somebody gets to the point of where they break this grab, they walk right into an elbow. This is bad for that example of moving in and get clipped in the face. You wanna to try to avoid that, so one more time. So as you do this, this comes up. Start bringing this down instead of here and trying to maneuver around that. Because this can turn into a cheap shot really quick. So you wanna actually start guiding this down. Get behind him. Now, remember this isn't Traditional Aikido to where you're taking the head and turning the head into this big throw and then doing this. It's not what you're trying to do here. So you don't want to get into this position and grab the head and pull the head. That's a different type of Iri Minage. Okay, there's a billion Iri Minages out there. So what we're doing here is the Tenkan happens, you're breaking the grip, you're moving in, and then you're throwing. So you're really not tilting his head to one side or the other to break his kazushi. You're basically trying to get him to follow around and then as he turns, he's turning right into an iriminage immediately. It's almost like if you, if you think about football, you know, you got your wide receivers, you got your quarterback, right? Play goes down, boom, quarterback goes out. That, that wide receiver's running his route and as he shoots across the field, the quarterback knows exactly when to throw the ball. So right when that receiver is in that position, he turns, ball's right there in his chest. He's not waiting for it. He turns, boom, ball's there. Same thing with this. Once he turns from um, Yukemi, once I get behind him and he turns, right when he turns into me, that's when I fire off the Idi Minage. So it happens extremely fast. So we're gonna walk through a couple, do a couple reps, um, and you'll see how the Yukemi is. 
Anything that I have to uh, change with rods or chemi, you'll obviously see that on the fly. So as we move through, See, as he's moving, he turns, and there's the throw. Same side. And then that's the Ukemi that you want to be able to take. When you finish, when you finish technique here, notice how rod grabs onto my arm. Okay, come back up. You can be aspect, this is this is very for a six Q taking this type of Ukemi, it's great. When you take the Ukemi, see this is you know you're ten conning, then you're entering in, and then you're you know basically you're doing the Ura version of Kosadori Iriminage. As he's coming around. You want to be able to summon attack you. So as I'm coming around, he comes up underneath, he gets this. As he steps behind, right there, you don't turn with your shoulders, you turn with your hips and your feet. So when this happens, you bring your feet together to do that. All of this happening at once, there's a lot of momentum from the uke, because the way how you're directing him to go, that once he turns into the iminage, a lot of times, People will take that extra step forward, and then the legs will come up one, and then the other. Um, Kamka Sensei brought up, to, said to Rod with the Ukemi, is that you want to feel like the rug got swept out from underneath you, okay? And not swept out this way, but this way. So both feet come up at the same time. You want to try to have your feet together, and then as you land, your knees come into your chest, and then it doesn't, like your legs don't fall out, it like accordions into your chest and then it pushes out to where you can get back up. It's a fast, explosive ukemi, but it needs to be tight. Because if you start kicking one leg up, then the other, and if you're not grabbing onto the arm, you're, you're cupping the arm. So when I throw rod, he's cupping. He's cupping my arm. He's, you put your thumb. He's using that as a buddy line. So when I go to throw, he releases himself. Okay, we basically call that the buddy line. So if the technique, if something happens within the course of demonstrating or performing the technique while you're in class, the buddy line is there for your safety. So when the throw happens, for whatever reason, Ukemi's off, the Nage's off, the throw happens, you're still able to save yourself midway through technique. And plus the Nage can save you as well. You know, if he feels that connection. So there's a lot that goes hand in hand with this. But this is a very cool technique to do. Again, you're coming up. Once you cut this, this comes down, turn, there's a three. Okay, a couple more. Move, there's a throw. Even with the way the Ukemi is, he can pull me off balance. It's stuff that you got to watch. I make mistakes all the time. Hopefully, a lot of you guys don't see the mistakes that I make, but I don't ever edit them out. You know, I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But that's Kosadori Iriminage. Hi. You know, not bad for an UK that's uh, 6Q, and he's not even ranked by me. You know, he does a phenomenal job with this Ukemi. So if you like the video, Hit a thumbs up, throw a comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out our new website, roadwarriorstrainingtc.com, check out the online dojo. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.